is an Xpong P7. China's answer to the Tesla Model 3. And today, we're gonna go over its quirks and features. We find our protagonists, Richard and Stephen, driving along a desert highway, taking some soul-searching time for the next project. On the journey, they spot a bright red car they've never seen before, all alone. They stop and park their Tesla next to it to get a closer look, uncertain how the day will unfold. Dragonfly? What was it? Was it a dragonfly? Butterfly? Dragonfly or butterfly? Something like that? Could be uh, the X Men or a helicopter landing pad. Could I don't be. know. I like it. <laughs> what is it? Got Brembos? Look at this. It's Brembos, I man. I've seen this somewhere. This is, it, you know, it looks like, it looks kind of like a, you know, a Kia in a way. But like a nice looking one. You get what I'm saying? Like it's, it's like, like a, a stinger? Nice, yeah, kind of like a stinger, right? It's stinger ass. Respectable. Yeah. This thing's not a bad car. But Stinger it's... also doesn't have, look, there's two cameras on the mirror. There's another one right there with the side marker. It drives itself. It's gotta be self driving. Oh, like, gotta be. It's a robot. Gotta be. Oh! What's. The key was on top of the back wheel. What are the odds? It's me. Hold on. <laughs> hey. Look at that. All right. There you go. All right. What do I want to do with this? Well, if I go in, it's not a good look. If you go in, it's a lot easier. You'll get off the hook. They'll what do you mean? You, oh, DWB. They'll give you yeah. a slap on the wrist, and you'll be fine. You'll be out in a, mean, few, a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate, I suppose. <laughs> I'm willing to take those chances. Yeah, right? You'll be fine. It's like a spaceship. This is nice, man. I mean, it's all in Chinese. Can you read Chinese? A little bit. Can you? <laughs> Steven's Chinese is minimal at best. Just a, just a smidge. Not enough to work the car, though. <laughs> I well, I, I'm sure we can figure it out. Look, it's like it's got windows. Yeah. It's got a little robot. Look at that. What does that robot do? Oh, shoot. Look at this. She's greeting us. She's curvy, huh? Well, got some know. hips on her. We got Saturn in the background. Honestly, I'm just arbitrarily clicking things. I don't know what any of this means. No, but, no, I understand. But uh, we'll have to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, this is this is this is confusing to me. It's Greek to you. Yeah. Chinese to you. This is cool, though. I like it. Say hi. Nope, more confusing stuff. It reminds me of the um, the, the Tycon a little bit. You know, the Tycon, Tycon has, that, yeah. has that one flowing like glass mm -hmm. screen, like in the front. I kind of like yeah, it. Yeah, that bezel list trim. I do like it. Did you break something? Well, maybe. This isn't our car. Yeah. Come on. We, sh we should be careful. That's a little dramatic, huh? That's, that's a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, a, okay. that's a little it's much. It's quite the uh, greeting. Yeah, no kidding. What a salutation. Auto. Off. <laughs> I'm pretty good, huh? You know those words. I do. App. App. Appetizers? It's going to make us food? Combination plate number six. I don't know. <laughs> 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 you could do that. That's kind of neat. You could do that. Up. That's what we're at. It looks like a, it looks like, I think it's an audio book, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably an audio book. This, is this probably, one's probably K-pop, yeah. She's pretty. Plus some adult videos. Oh. Let's find out. These are the number one hits. Hey! I wasn't expecting that. No. Nope. Oh, oh, that sounded aggressive. Oh, that's a charge port. Let's go check it out on the outside. Let's go. I think that's a charge port. Yeah, it is. Oh, hold on. That's pretty cool. It's a garage door. Look at that. It's room for activity. That's neat. You can hide your key in there. Oh, no, no. Come That'd around. be great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. P7 performance. I don't know. I think it's cool, man. I like it. Well, we have the key. We should probably just ride. Should probably drive aggressively in the parking lot, I think. Yeah, there's no, no other options. Yeah. Let's uh. be honest. Stoked. 
I like it, man. The, she dances. She does roll out. The thing I'm curious about is it's a electric self-driving car that could be considered as a competitor to another brand. You know, it, the price point's very similar. How does the features of this stack up versus that? Because the tech seems pretty cool so far. Yeah. But the true tech is in, I think, the, in my opinion, the, the self-driving hardware. Electric cars are synonymous with safety and technology, which go hand in hand. I mean, they have the advancements and the abilities to do more than any other car on the road can do. Right. That's just how it is. You get an electric vehicle, you've got... Sonar, yeah, radar, you're better, LiDAR. Yeah, you're better than most cars already. Yeah. And at a lower price point. A lot of the cars, like a lot of the features that you see electric cars come up with now that are below the 50K price point, you won't see until oh. other manufacturers <laughs> to like 70, 80, 90, 100. You know what I mean? All day long. Remember back in the day when like, you know, self-parking cars were like, you'd buy a $100,000 car for that, mm -hmm. you know, or traffic aware, ta traffic aware, where cruise control, things like that. You'd pay big money for that. Yeah, stuff. it was the high country trim level trucks. Right. That had all that fun stuff too, yeah. And now it's trickling down to this is literally a, you know. A, it's becoming standard. A car. Yeah. yeah. Now, so it's funny because so the price point, this is how fast the technology is advancing. The price point is coming down mm -hmm. and the technology is going up. Yep. You know, because this is, I mean, this is 10 years ago. This is unheard of. You A car that drives itself for 30, what? No. Smartphone theory, man. No. It's, we it's, went from the Nokia to the iPhone. Absolutely. I know. Or the Huawei. Are we supposed to say that? Oh, can we say that? It occurred to them at this very moment they probably couldn't test the self-driving capabilities and had to phone a friend. Let's touch base. My buddy Jefferson, he's got one. How do you know someone named Jefferson in China? No, I no. bounced around the world two years and uh, met some people, man. Uh, let's call him and see what he knows. Play Pokemon Go. You meet people from all over. What's his number? Uh, it is... That's long distance. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe on your phone. Distance, we can do it on my phone, that's fine. Let's do it on your phone, it's fine. There you go. Gold. All right. I'm the gold standard, baby. Let's give him a call. Yo! Yo, what's up, Steve? What's going on, man? Who's that guy? Is that Rich? That's me, I'm uh, Rich. What? <laughs> so we called you because we uh, we don't really know anything about this car you guys have me like a p7 yeah yeah we we found one in the desert Wait, i didn't know that how is that possible but you guys can't use the autonomous driving like north america what, we, no I, I don't even know how to turn it on but i don't think we can use it either way go us through some of the features of this car and you know some of the uh, we really want to see some of the the automatic driving stuff uh ngp stands for navigation guided pilots it's expose highway solution for their autonomous driving so it basically aims to achieve to like, you know, go from point A to point B based on the navigation uh, and then on the highway mostly. For Expo, it has five millimeter wave radar, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and then 14 cameras with 13 involved in auto driving. Second is automated swapping lanes, which is the most significant part. And the third one is automated uh, swapping highway. And that is very challenging, especially in China. And next is low construction detection. You know what, Rich? I figure that something you might not be able to try um, beside auto driving is the voice command system. Uh, and it has a lot of highlights, but you can kind of only use it like in Chinese. Do you like, do you want me to display it? I mean, demo it? Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go over the highlights and then I'll perform to you guys, okay? So the first thing is that you can have continuous conversation. After you awake it, uh, it'll be awakened for like a minute and for the, like all the rest of things, it'll just, it'll just be listening. But don't worry that it'll interrupt or disturb your conversation with others in the car because it only listens to the commands that it understands. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, and second thing is that you can interrupt it at any time. And third thing, so it only listens to whoever awakes it. You know, if other people are having conversation at the same time in the car, my the my voice commands assistant is not gonna get affected. And also, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty cool. another amazing part is that everything you see on the screen, like all these settings and stuff, you will see later. I can demo to you. I can control everything with the voice command including fast forwarding the music to like 30 seconds later and kind of stuff so they have a high recognition coverage rate 
And last thing is that you have custom command. So you, you can basically say a command, it does a set of actions. That's sick. Check that out. That's pretty fresh. Yeah, man. that's pretty rad. That's pretty cool. And that's about what I expected from you. Yeah. Huh? What does that mean? You know what I mean. What, my car choice or what? No, we, so, had, wor we had work to do, but... So as you're playing, it blows air at you to simulate... Like, the wind? You know, yeah, to simulate wind. It's pretty fresh. I get, you know what? So that is some major callback to like Gran Turismo. Absolutely, man. I love that game, dude. It's a great game. The game is in demo mode. Richard was not actually playing. Look at that. Boop. What do I do with my hands? I don't know. I just fold myself. Tuck myself in. Well, that's something. Steve, I'm not gonna lie. For the price point, can't beat it. All day, every day, can't beat it. All day, every yeah, day. Yeah, they really, they... yeah. No, not, not gonna lie. I mean, you know, the interior is clean. It's well thought out. Massive screen in the middle. Just like another manufacturer that I that I'm aware of. I don't know if you know any of those that do that as well. I think so. Um, I mean, there's other competitors that are out there, but they're starting at a lot more. I think this one starts at about, I want to say like 33 mm -hmm. before incentives. All day, every day. I would do it all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. It's a lot of car for the price. Yeah, really. It really is. What does this mean? Hey, no big bird. Little big bird. Little big bird? Yeah. Uh, is it, this is a bird. This is a bird. This is friends. And this is a little cute. But 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 where's friend in here? You just said it's a little big bird. So why is there a friend in the middle? That's a uh, pronunciation. The X-Bang P7 has immensely impressed Richard and Steven. They drove it for hours, appreciating its performance, tested its incredible self-park abilities while getting coffee, listened to it make music and light shows, observed impressive seating in the back, and marveled over its attention to detail and splendor. Overall, they thought this to be one of the best valued cars created, with appointments you normally don't witness at this price point. They decided to drive it to a nearby abandoned warehouse and hold it there for safekeeping, in case its owner never returns. The X-Pang was found by police because it kept making sci-fi noises and flashing its lights. Currently, it is with a dozen other X-Pangs on a 3,000-kilometer drive across China to test the NGP function this week. It's a bold move. Let's see how it turns out.